Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting, coming to you in 2011, Pale and Pasty. Today's video falls under the problems white guys have. We're talking about tanning. It's winter time. This summer, you're outside, you're running around, you're by the pool, you're by the lake, you're playing tennis, you're, run, I, you're outside, you're getting a tan. And it's my personal opinion that everybody looks better with a little bit of color. But as the months wind down and it gets a little bit colder, that tan fades. And it seems like one day I just woke up a few months ago and I was like, my goodness, I am white and what am I going to do about it? So today I thought I'd go over the three options that us white guys have to take the edge off of our whiteness uh, during the colder months. So let's talk about them. First option, the tanning booth. Now let's talk about the pros to a tanning booth. Um, it's the closest thing to a natural looking tan you can probably get. Uh, the cost is relatively inexpensive. I mean, you can buy a tanning membership for 30 bucks a month, go in as often as you like. Tanning has really come down as far as the price is concerned. Um, what to wear in a tanning booth? Depends on if you want tan lines or not. Uh, me, when I used to go to a tanning booth, I would go in with a sock. I mean, a sock. You go in, you lay there for 10, 15 minutes, you come out, you got a pretty good tan. You also smell like burnt skin, so you need to go home and get a shower right away. Um, I'm not a doctor. I don't know if tanning booths are safe or they actually cause cancer, but I do have a little true story to tell you. About five years ago, um, my wife actually had a little spot on her shoulder. Uh, my wife is very blonde, very fair skin and uh, been out in the sun since she was a little girl, you know, sunburns every summer, uh, very fair skin. Well, she had a little spot on her shoulder and it was this weird little mole looking thing. Went to the doctor, they did a biopsy, yep, basal cell carcinoma. It was skin cancer, so she got it removed. And uh, the doctor was like, that's it. Wear 50 sunscreen in the, in the sun, wear big hats, don't go indoor tanning anymore. And so she was like, okay, did she listen? No. So three months ago, we went back to the dermatologist because she was having this little place between her breast up on her chest that was getting a little funky. It was sort of flaky and a little bit, it would bleed occasionally. Went to the doctor, guess what? Skin cancer. Here's a picture of the piece they removed. So do tanning booths cause skin cancer? I don't know. <laughs> Does the sun cause skin cancer? I don't know. But um, as a Show of solidarity, I decided, you know what, if she can't go to tanning booths anymore, I'm not going to go to tanning booths anymore. The chances of me getting skin cancer are a lot lower because I am Italian, my skin is darker. Um, Eastern Europeans of, of that descent typically have a higher risk of actually getting the basal cell carcinoma. But I'm not tanning anymore. So what's my other option? The spray-on tan. Some tanning salons have spray tan booths. You pay them $25, $30. It is kind of pricey for what you get. But you go into the booth, you strip down naked, you put a shower cap on, you stand there, and this thing sprays you up and down. It's like a car wash. And uh, you t turn to the side, it sprays you back, spray, spray, spray. By the time you leave, you have a pretty decent tan. Another option in the spray tan arena is where they actually have um, staff members that will actually airbrush the tan on you. <laughs> so I guess you stand there as naked as you want to and they airbrush you. I have a buddy who goes to get this done and he actually gets his abs sprayed in a little bit darker so it looks like he's got a better six pack. Weird. But the spray on tan, it is much safer, I'm assuming, than a tanning booth. Um, it is kind of expensive though, so 25, 30 bucks, they say that it lasts typically around five to 10 days. I'm thinking it probably lasts about two to three days and then you're just kind of spotty and have like irregular places on your skin. Um, the more you scrub in the shower, the faster that's going to actually come off. And if you're not scrubbing in the shower, I'm thinking you're probably stinky. And the last option is sunless tanning lotions, where you do it yourself at home. Um, a product that I've used before that I actually like is a tanning foam by Neutrogena. This stuff's like nine bucks and you get like 10, 12 applications out of it. Um, and it looks fairly natural. It's not going to make you like tan like you are in the summer after you've been in Aruba, but 
it does the job. It takes the edge off of the whiteness. So I thought it'd be fun for me to apply this, go to sleep, come back tomorrow morning, and uh, let's check out the results. Let's get down to business. All right, so I'm in the bathroom. Shake out my tanning lotion. Comes with a little pump. Basically, you squirt a little in your hand. <laughs> right there. How's that? Can you see it? It's brown foam. Then you just start applying it. Now, the trick to this is, look <laughs> how natural. The trick is to get it up close to your hairline. Make sure you get in your eyes. Down. Okay, now, the key to this, not to get it too much into your beard. If you've got a light beard, because it does get a little bit dirty looking if you do that. Make sure to get your ears under your neck. A little more. And uh, I got to get the rest of me, so uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm done applying the sunless tanning lotion. Don't I look totally natural? <laughs> I look dirty. But uh, one quick thing, when you put this on, um, your hands, when you're done putting it on, run. Do not walk to the sink, scrub your hands. Uh, don't check Facebook first because this stuff will stain and your calluses um, around your fingernails get really orange and look really funky. So go wash your hands. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning and I'll see how it looks. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. <laughs> what happened was I went to bed with the tanning lotion on. I got up, I shower, I scrubbed, I got as much off as I could and I'm left with this. Now, am I savagely tan? No. Am I a little less white than I was before? Yes. Is it an option? Absolutely. Like I said, the price is good, around $9, $10. Now, depending on your skin tone, depending on the product that you get, uh, I have seen a lot of people that have tried the sunless tanning lotion and it turns them really orange. So you really sort of have to test it on a portion of your skin before you go crazy and do it all over your body, all over your face, or else you're gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. Not good. Seems like a lot of work though, right? <laughs> it is. Um, truth be told, I'm to the point now in my life where I've resigned myself to the fact that I'm going to be white about six months out of the year, really white. And uh, I'm okay with that. But if I've got a party to go to or if you've got a big event, you might want to think about going and getting a fake tan, tanning bed, spray on tan, whatever it may be for that special occasion, just to make sure you're bringing your A game and you look the best you possibly can. Is it for everybody? Absolutely not. Is it an option? Definitely. Have a great day. Let's make 2011 our best year yet, gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now let's recap 2010 real quick, shall we? I would like to thank my sponsor, BlankLabel.com. They, they have been fantastic. Their products are superb. Um, I think I do need to do a video where I actually show you guys how I order one because some of the sizing is a little bit funky and I'll show you how to measure yourself in order to make sure that the shirt fits you perfectly. So thank you, Blank Label. But more important than them is you guys, because without you, I wouldn't be doing these videos. I probably would be doing these videos because I just like to hear myself talk. <laughs> but anyway, you guys make this awesome. I love reading your comments. I love getting the emails, most of them. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've had a blast this year doing these videos for you guys, and I've got some big plans for 2011. So I just want to thank you for being subscribers to this channel. Um, I thought we'd do something kind of fun for next week. I have one of the services that I offer in my business. Um, if you go to mailstyleguide.com, it's my other website where I have a lot of different virtual services. One of the things I do is a virtual makeover or a virtual grooming session and uh, basically help you guys or help people get better ideas on how to make themselves look the best they can. But I thought we'd do something a little bit fun. Um, if you guys are interested, send me a message and uh, I'll send you an email address where you can send me pictures of yourself. And what I'll do on a video, hopefully next week, is actually analyze one of you guys 
and say things that you could do differently, things you could do better, uh, maybe different hairstyles, what you're doing right, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. It'd sort of give a third party perspective and it'd be kind of fun. Now, you have to understand that I may poke fun a little bit, but it's all in good fun and it's really just to help you benefit you. And so uh, if you guys are interested, send me a message and I'll send you an email address and I'll pick one, maybe two people to do a virtual sort of consultation live, semi-live on YouTube. Have a great day, guys. I love you. Bye.